Hi, this is Bill, and I'm going to <coughs> show you my trials and tribulations in the land of just trying to do something really simple like a, a piece of decking in Revit, which I've looked on YouTube and all over the place and I can't seem to find any decent answers, so this is what I've come up with. It may not be the correct way, so just take it as read. Uh, for instance, first of all, going to do a beam. I've got some gauge timber. I'm not going to go into how you get the gauge timber, but uh, I'm going to do a beam that just rips along there, down there, down there. I'll make an odd shape, just like a typical deck. deck. And I'm not going to worry about sizes of, of the deck or anything like that. Now, see that's now we can so-called fillet that in theory. But if you zoom in on that, there's a tiny little gap there, and there's an irritating little overshoot there. And I, after much looking, I found this under Manage, and under Structural Settings, of all places, and Symbolic Representation Settings, that's the cutback distance. So it looks like that's where, if you wanted to have it nice, you could. you change that to zero. In fact, let's change it to zero and see what happens. So a brace or a beam would make it the beam. Just change that to a zero. And go OK. Go OK. So that see that hasn't regenerated. So what what's been done has been done, and that's that's all there is to it. So let's just modify, get rid of all that what I've just done, and see if what does come out of it. If we try to draw another set of beams. Oh, by the way, I've got that on chain and structural usage automatic. I don't know whether that makes a difference or not, but uh, it possibly does. I don't know. Anyway, go down here like that, around there, around there, around there, and up to there. Now we'll try a fillet. There's lots. That one and that one. Now... It's still giving us that irritating little ir thing there. So I don't know quite how to get rid of that. And it really doesn't matter for the purposes of this demonstration, which is to demonstrate how to put some joists in there. Okay, so what we do to get joists in there, we go to structure, go to beam system, and at the moment it's, it's stuck on the decking that I was doing. So we'll change that to... 150 by 50, and instead of 120 mils, it'll be 450 mils. Notice if, if you're not careful with that, it doesn't like it. So, and it says you can automatic beam system or a sketch sketch system. I think I'll choose sketch system because I've found out that if you choose automatic, it goes to the center lines. So, and you can choose pick lines. So these lines are already there so you might as well borrow them and then you've got to go because of that irritating little bit there you've got to go around and fill it all that lot is that right that's fine so we're filleting all that everybody's happy all right so that's looking good now the beam direction is the wrong way so just click on that one click on that one and away you go so we go OK, and because, well, there's 450 and it's 150, and it's centre justified, which means it's going to have a little gap there that's hopefully less than 450, um, and it looks like it is. So that's fine. Everything's wonderful, except you can't see it. Here it is. OK, um, that's looking pretty good, pretty quick, and seems like a nice way of doing things. Now, if I was to put my another next beam system on there, I would come unstuck. And you, you can go ahead and try it yourself, and you'll find, probably, that you will come unstuck too. And what, what'll happen is these little beams here, they'll come, they'll start to shrink backwards and do all sorts of funny things. So what the, what, how I solved this problem was by creating another level just above my ground level. 
and by the way we want that all of that should be down below why isn't it choosing down below because because why because there are two different sorts of things probably so what we've got to do it the hard way we've got to select similar select all instances visible in view mm -hmm. no, it still won't let us bring that down so just hold down control keep clicking on these notice that I've clicked on the beam system so if I hold down shift and unclick that and hold down control so I've got I only got these guys see now we have got start level offsets end level offsets that's fine but down there you can do it in one hit minus 20 it seems to work so that's gone down 20 so now all and then selecting a beam system, I always used to find that this was such a drama, but it's not really. You hold it on there, you light it up, and then you hit tab, and then you click on it, and it's fine. So that way it should be minus 20 as well, See, because the decking that we're going to be doing is 20 millimeters. So if we look from the south, there we are, 20 mils below level 1. Okay, so now we go to level three, where I had to set the view, the view range, the view range, so I could see it. I've been unlimited, unlimited, so I could just see that bottom, bottom piece there. So now we want our decking to cover exactly that whole pile of stuff there. So here we go. We go beam system, and sketch the beam system. And because we want the outside one, we'll just pick those lines, they'll be fine. All it's doing is using them as a guide for where it should be. So then we fillet those out. Yeah, just zoom in here. See, we do have this little bit of bit sticking out. So that's just something to be aware of that that's happening. And here, that that is already in the right place. So it's running across the joist. So that's good. So we go OK. But this time, we're wanting to choose our well, 110 by 20 decking material. And the distance between it, well, we want that to be, say, 120, say. You can have that to leave sure the 10 mil gap. Notice that all these tags are coming visible in this view, but that's not a big deal. And if we go to realistic, or maybe even hidden line, or even wireframe, looks like it's doing it correctly. So if we looked at it from the left, which is say the east, and we ran a measuring tape up from, from the outside of there, Ah, now that is extremely irritating, isn't it? See, because that that you you pick that 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 outside line, and it's it's not honouring what it should be. So, to get that, we go back to our level three and edit our work plane a little bit, our um, boundary. How about I just move that back slightly and see what happens. I'm not going to worry about these guys down there. See what happens. So now we're looking from the east again. Let's just see if it's pulled it in a little bit. And the reasoning is that that little bit is going to be hard, like half a plank or something like that. So we're better off filling that plank in with another little plank just to, just to make sure that it's okay. So there you go. So that whole pile of junk, which I've picked everything, so nothing comes up on the on that. So you have to come back to this guy here, pick that. So now what we do is we just make that because at level three is a thousand above there, we just make this minus one thousand. And go up, okay. And notice how that's 
plopped it down on on the um, on there, and that's really nice. And we've got our little bit on the end that we're going to you would have to fill in, which I won't do now, but easy enough to do. Or maybe we should. Okay. Well, uh, how do we do that? We'll go to level. We'll try level one. Just to be mad. And we'll go to architecture, structure, beam, and we'll change our beam beam type to, wow, 110 by 20. Okay, so there it is. We'll put it in just over here like that. There he is. He's no good, because he's, he's going to be too wide, isn't he? So there's our last one. So if we measure from here to here, we've got 102. Well, we need 92. We need this guy here to be 92. So it's easy enough done. We'll just edit type, duplicate. We'll call this 92. 92. By 20. Okay. And we just change that to 92. Job done. And see that one there should be 92 wide. Let me just check that. 92. Okay. So him, if we uh, click on him and just line him up with that there, like that. Now see, there's something hilarious, isn't it? It just absolutely went out to lunch and made a mess of everything, which is the entire point of what I've just been trying to say, is that things don't happen like they should. Because this guy here, he is stuck on level 1. And he's, the minute you get him on level 1 and he's mixing it up with those guys down there, all sorts of fun happens. So what we do is we get level 3, bang and a beam boom de boom like that and that's our well that's the wrong beam but that's right change that to the right beam nice and narrow little beam now if we click on him and align him with that there see there's no problem likewise if we line that up there's no problem we won't worry about the other end but Yes, you can see we've been working on level 3 and there's our little board stuck up in the air. So now we have to tell him that he's he's um, got a Z offset of minus 1000. Now, this might be fun. This might all prove to be too much for it. But no, it's fine. It's almost, almost perfect. There's a little bit sticking out but it's that's flush for the end of there. And there he is. He's apart from that little bit that's sticking out, that's not too bad. So that's how you do a deck in Revit. And hopefully this will help you from tearing your hair out.